Hello and welcome to Growers Farm. My name is James. Uh, today is the uh, 29th of uh, June. Uh, and as you can see, we've got uh, we've actually got silage in full swing. I'm just going to pop out the uh, truck here or the landy here. Uh, and you can see over here, Mark is working away. Uh, he's got um, a friend of his, um, uh, a girl called, or, or a lady called Jane, who's helping out. She's doing the wind rowing uh, while Mark does the cutting. Uh, hopefully later today, I'm going to get into the field as well uh, and, uh, and get bailing up some silage bales. Uh, but first, we're heading up to the shop. Uh, this is because... We are, uh, yeah, we, we've got something to pick up today. Something fairly big. Um, as you may have noticed, our money has taken an absolute nosedive. And there's a very good reason for this. Uh, we have finally paid for our big new piece of machinery. Um, it may even, actually, it may even grace the thumbnail of this vlog. Um, but, uh, yeah. It's uh, it's something that we've been waiting for and talking about for a while. So uh, we're going to get it home. And here she is. Wow. So we've got to get this home today. We're going to come back and pick up the landy later. So we're just going to park this over here. There we go. Um, but yeah, this is our brand spanky new combine so we did have a tx34 on here before um this is a tc590 new holland uh so uh, it's slightly larger capacity than our old combine uh still a fairly small combine by uh, modern standards but uh should do us pretty well on the farm i think uh yeah with a uh a six uh, sorry a five and a half foot um grain header we've got at the back um, and then on the front here, to get it all home, uh, we have a uh, six-foot uh, Capello uh, corn header uh, that we're going to be using as well. So, uh, yeah, that should do us pretty nicely, I think. So, we're going to jump in here and start her up. Like so. There we go lift up our header and uh, and yeah away we go so we're gonna uh, get, get get this back to the farm i've not got a um there's uh, no traffic on the road at the moment so uh, i've not got a an escort on but we should be all right i think yeah there we go yeah, roads are pretty clear at, uh, at this time of day, at this time of year, up this way. So uh, I'm not too worried about uh, getting back. And we're not going very far with this. So as I said, um, six and a half, uh, well, just under six and a half thousand litre. Uh, six, yeah, six and a half thousand litre header. Uh, we... Uh, a little bit larger than the last one. Um, I am looking at getting a new uh, trailer, I think, um, for our um, for carting. Uh, I want to look at our. I want to have a look at our current one. I think our current one should have enough capacity to work with this combine. But in case it doesn't, uh, I am looking at a possibly picking up a Bailey trailer. Now this might be interesting. Ooh. Foldable headers. Yes. Yeah, we're okay coming through here. So that's all good. It's more falling off the side of the road and suddenly clonking the header. That's that's the bit that worries me. But, uh, yeah, we're going to get this home. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so I've been talking last few vlogs about us doing um, hay uh, in the summer here. And then, and then doing silage later in the autumn. It's just not a year that's working out that way. Uh, at the moment, we have uh, we've got rain on the way uh, in the next couple of days, so uh, we would lose all of this grass that we're currently uh, that we're currently rowing up. Uh, it just would basic basically it would rot down because it would get so wet. I mean, it's nice and dry at the moment, but it's just yeah, it's we're not in a position where we can actually. 
uh, take full advantage of it. So we are. We're going to get the. Uh, we're going to get the baler out uh, and wrap everything in field one. Give ourselves a nice big collection of uh, of wrap bales of silage bales for our cows. Uh, we should go down well. Should do uh, do us okay. Um, and then uh, and then hopefully we're going to have a dry spell later in the year. If we don't, if we end up creating more silage bales. Uh, we will end up selling the excess and uh, and using that to buy hay bales. Actually, works out better for us that way round, um, because we uh, we end up in a position where uh, silage bales are actually worth more than hay bales. So we'd actually make money doing it that way. Um, I'd like to make my own hay bales, um, but if we can uh, if we can get away with it, then we will do. Right there we go. Combine is in the yard, so we're just going to park this up for now uh, because I want to crack on and uh, and get out there with that uh, or with our uh, other stuff uh, getting on with the bailing. So I'm just going to put this in this part of the yard. It's nicely out of the way here. Nothing we need to get at at the moment, so that is all good. So down with that. And we'll turn it off, and that is great. So there we go. New combine is in the yard, uh, looking absolutely spiffy and wonderful. Uh, very, very pleased with that. We are going to head uh, over now and uh, see what tractors we've got available. I think we're going to have to use... Yeah, we're going to have to get this into the workshop quickly and get the wheels changed on that. Um before we can go any further, because we're going to be using an RT6 for this next job. So let's start her up. We don't want to be using the care wheels on this uh, for the bailing. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this over here. Jump out. Oh, let's turn this off. I don't want the engine running while I'm doing this. Uh, and yeah, I am going to go and get the wheels changed. And there we go. We have changed the wheels. We're going to reattach the weight to the front. Uh, lift that up while we start it up. And away we go. So we want to go and get our baler, which is in our other shed. And then we, uh, we're going to go round in the T6 here and uh, make silage bales. Get those all up and running. Uh, Baylor is in the second half of this shed. So easiest way for us to get at it is to head over here and open this door. This is quite a big tool shed we have in here. Yeah, now the great thing about the silage bales is we don't need to worry about the rain. Uh, we'll be able to go and pick them up later. Uh, off the field, uh, I just didn't want to. I just didn't want to lose all of this grass. All this grass we have, we're we're basically going to have to keep doing our grass fields over the next uh, few months in between the rain. Uh, and I think for the most part, we are going to end up silaging the lot. It's just going to be one of those things that that we need to do. I think. Right, they've closed the gate to give themselves better access. So. We'll get that reopened. I think we'll be all right at the moment. Yeah, there we go. And they're doing a grand job. I think Mark's going to be finished any time soon, to be honest. So we are going to start this up. Drop our header down. And we'll drop, yeah, drop the pickup down and away we go. I think we've got some hay left in this. So this first one's going to be a fairly wet hay bale that comes out. But after that, we should be pretty good. So pull it up. There we go. And we should be able to immediately drop that off. Because that won't wrap. Right. And away we go. So uh, let's see how many uh, silage bales we can get off this field, I think. Just keep an eye uh, looking at how far the 
mower is going. He seems to be fairly far across the field, so that's good news. Um, so, yeah, we are just going to do silage. Way There we go. There we are. So that's wrapping, and we are off again. So we'll... Uh, We'll wait for that to stop wrapping. And hopefully. Yep. Yeah, so uh, we should be able to stop and unload it. And there we go. And away we go again. Nice and easy. And there we go. There is our first wrap silage bale. So I'm going to crack on with this field. We've got a fair amount to get up done up here. Um, we'll see where we are in a bit. I think Mark won't be much longer. Looking at this, Mark is not going to be that much longer doing his uh, doing his mowing. He's, uh, he's pretty good. Looks like Jane is in a good position as well. She's... Uh, oh. Need to unload... Because we're almost full again. That's what I get for not paying attention. That's quite good because then we're not dropping stuff in front. There we are. And away we go. Yeah. Okay. So I need to get Jane. To, I'm going to have to go and have a word with Jane. Because she's obviously now uh, caught right up to Mark. Uh, so I'll be back in a minute. So she stopped for a bit and Mark is uh, Mark is in front of me. So uh, that is all good. We are picking up again. Yeah, she's just going to wait for Mark to, uh, to finish the rest of the field and then she's going to continue on. Which is similar to what we're doing. Oh, no, not quite got that right. Sometimes getting around these corners is an interesting thing. Oh, come on. There we go. So, yeah, we're going to be silaging uh, most of this field, I think. Or, in fact, silaging all of this field. Right. And as soon as that does, uh, we want to get that emptied. But it is all going fairly swimmingly at the moment. Shouldn't take us too long to get this field finished. And done and dusted and, uh, and in time for the rain. Because, yeah, that is the worst thing that could happen to us at the moment. There we go. Yeah, he's got about one more road to go. And away we go. Right, so there we go. I'm quite happy with that. Uh, I can continue on for a bit. Uh, Mark will finish in a moment, uh, and I'll uh, I'll come back once they've uh, once they're off the field. Uh, we'll see how we do off this headland. I think. Uh, I think we'll be pretty good. Uh, but we are just creating bells. We've created a decent amount so far. That's a good number. Uh, we will see what this field brings. Headlands are done and we have... 17 bales off the field so far, which is uh, which is a good number. I'm very happy with that. Uh, we've got a lot of field to go, though. Uh, very, very, 
what I like about this field, this is our largest. Um, yeah, this is our largest grass field. It's nearly twice the size of our other two uh, separately. I just need to reverse up because i overshot a little bit. There we go. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's, it's about twice the size of our other two. So I normally, uh, for the summer stuff, I normally split between the two. And uh, and do half silage and half uh, half hay. Um, we're not going to get a chance to cut the other fields uh, before the rain comes, uh, so they are going to be wet fields. And hence why I'm saying that uh, I'm probably going to have to do silage uh, bales for everything because I just don't think uh, with harvest fast approaching uh, that we are we're going to be in a position where we can actually. Uh, do that. I think we're probably about another month away from harvest. I think we're going to be not going to be starting harvest probably until late July at this rate. Uh, but I think most of August we're going to be looking at uh, uh, pretty good harvest for us, which is good news. Uh, this row is a little bit thin on the ground. We're going to go and get these thin on the ground rows first. Uh, and just uh, get these collected up. I think our rin row was, she was a little bit enthusiastic. Wasn't quite sure of exactly how wide her uh, her implement was. Because it's, uh, yeah. We've got sort of every other row is a, uh, is a lesser row. But uh, it still should be a good outcome from this field. And uh, I'm quite happy with how this has gone in general. And drop the rat silage bale off while we run through this. Um, but yeah, this is good. This is uh, this is very nice. We are we are having a nice dry day, even if it is a bit overcast. And uh, and as a result, we are we are in a good place. And speaking of good places, I am gonna leave here for a moment and uh, be back with you in a bit once we've got uh, some more of this field done. So we're coming to the end of the thinner rows now, and, uh, and we're up to 25 bales off the field, which is uh, absolutely brilliant. I'm really, really pleased with that. This last row has very little grass in it, though. Uh, we're not going to get, get another bale out of this, but uh, that does just mean that we're now left with these uh, these much thicker rows. Uh, so I'm expecting more, way more than eight bales uh, off the rest of this field. Um, we may even get, well, if we got as many as 15 more bales, that would be fantastic. Um, I think we might get 10 uh, if we're good. So, uh, yeah, that would be uh, somewhere between 30 and 40 bales off here, uh, which would be a really, really strong position to be in. Uh, and uh, would not is not at all a problem for me. I'm really, you know, I'm really pleased if we get that sort of number off here. We have got a bale. We're going to have to go round here in a moment. So, uh, yeah. That's not great. Completely in the wrong place. Must have rolled off its line. Um, but, yeah. We're, we're, we're good. Otherwise, I'm pretty happy. There we go. Reverse up a little bit. There we are. But uh, yeah, 26 bales so far off this field. That is absolutely cracking. I am going to uh, maneuver around this and get on with the rest of the field. I take it back. We are going to have far more than uh, 10 bales off the rest of this field. Uh, I think we've had three already and we're only on our third row. Um, and that is just, yeah. No, we have a... We are going to have more than 10. We're getting one or two a row, I think. Um, so, uh, yeah, maybe one and a half a row. 
Uh, it's quite a lot that we're getting at the moment. There we go. Unload that. And away we go again. Uh, so yeah, it is uh, It is quite a lot. We are getting quite a good heap of bales off here. Uh, there is a, a really, really nice amount of grass here. Uh, we'll have to make sure we get this uh, well fertilized before we, uh, we get anywhere near an autumn cut on it, I think. See if we can get a decent amount out again. Um, but uh, at the moment, yeah, this is, uh, this is working really, really well for us. Uh, yeah, and uh, as you guys can see, we've dropped off another bale and just unloaded this in here. And you can see that that immediately starts wrapping, although we left that a bit close to the previous one. Don't normally like to sit that close. But I want to show you guys uh, the wrapping system. So yeah, it is just built into the back of the baler. Wraps the bale, cuts it, and then uh, and then we'll drop it in a moment. But it's, uh, yeah, a really great system on this baler. Saves us a whole whack of time and a whole extra job to have it. So uh, very, very pleased with this. Uh, and we will... Uh, We'll see how it continues to help us and uh, and continues to work for us. Speaking of which, I'm going to continue work in this field. We're on the second to last row. We've so far created 51 bales today. So that's 50 silage bales plus that fairly wet hay bale we started with. Um, that's pretty good. I'm very, very pleased. That's far more than I'd estimated at, uh, at when we started doing these thicker rows. Um, so yeah, pretty much all good. Very, very pleased with that. Whoa. Too far. Um, so yeah, we may end up with, uh, with maybe 55 bales off this. Uh, that would be absolutely astounding. Uh, really, really good. I mean, we've needed silage bales quite a lot. Uh, we have got, we are going to have to, uh, bale our straw as well. Uh, so I'm hoping for a fairly dry harvest, uh, to be able to do that. Otherwise it's going to be, uh, trying to bale it and collect it pretty quickly. But I think we're fairly good. If we can get a full bale halfway through this row, then we might get two more bales off this field. Ooh, this is going to be close, I think. This is going to be very close. Can we get the number of bales off here we want? Well, we've already got the number of bales off here we want. This is going to be quite a, a task to... Uh, to get this uh, collected. I think we might have a look. There's a there's a piece of equipment that uh, that they keep trying to get me to try out up at the shop uh, that they say uh, should help with this, uh, with the number of bales we have to pick up each year. So uh, I might have a look at that. We are, we are gonna leave a very small piece of uh, grass on this field. Right, so... Uh, we're going to back off. We're going to turn that off. We're going to unload what we have on the wrapper. Let's lift that up. So that what we have in here can come out. And get this wrapped. And, uh, and that should finish us off for the day, I think. Pretty good job, to be honest. I'm uh, I'm very happy with that. It's a job well done. Uh, we're going to be doing some more stuff soon. But for now, uh, I'm going to end the vlog here. So all that remains 
is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from the farm, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.